Missande acts as an interpreter between her master Krasnys Monaklos and Daenerys Targaryen when she lands on Astapor with the intent to buy Unsullied. She does not simply translate, but offers Krasny's commentary on Daenerys's words and diplomatically leaves out Krasnys's insults to the Khaleesi, remaining as professional as she can when Krasnys describes the acts used to discipline and strengthen the Unsullied. Daenerys meets with Krasnys and other good masters and announces her intention to buy all of the 8,000 Unsullied for sale, but Krasnys says she cannot afford them. The slaver grows increasingly insulting and condescending, which makes Masande struggle to interpret politely. Daenerys then adds she also wants to buy the hundreds of young men still in training. In exchange, she offers one of her dragons. The good masters agree, but Daenerys also asks for Masande as a gift and a show of good faith for the upcoming transaction. He agrees, and Masande follows Daenerys. Daenerys asks the young slave for her name and if she has any living family, but she says she does not. Daenerys warns her that she is heading into war and she may be killed or may fall sick and die to which Masande simply recites the Valyrian aphorism, Valor Morgulus. Daenerys responds by correctly interpreting, all men must die, but also adds that, we are not men, making Masande grin. Masande, sporting a new dress to match Daenerys's outfit, is present when Krasnys and Daenerys conduct their exchange. She interprets their exchange until Daenerys fluidly begins issuing orders to the unsullied in perfectly accented low Valyrian at which Masande stares in shock. Masande survives the subsequent sack of Astapor and marches out of the city with Daenerys. Masande serves as Daenerys's primary aide-de-camp during the march to Yunkai. On her queen's orders, she gathers the unsullied officers together and orders them to select a single leader from among themselves. When the new leader, Grey Worm, is presented, Masande explains that all unsullied are given names consisting of drab colors and vermin to remind them of their station. Daenerys promptly orders the unsullied to select their own names, though Grey Worm elects to keep his. Masande later attends to Daenerys and her guests Mero, Prendal N.A. Gezon and Dario Naharis. Mero is uncouth throughout the whole event, groping Masande, trying smell her and slapping her backside. In part because of his treatment of Masande, Daenerys orders that Mero be killed first if the Unsullied must fight the Second Sons. That night, as Daenerys bathes, she is surprised to learn that Masande speaks no fewer than 19 languages. Masande says this shouldn't be that odd, since it only took Daenerys a year to gain a reasonable grasp of Dothraki. The Khaleesi bristles at the idea she speaks only reasonable Dothraki and switches to the language to demonstrate her competency, only to have her pronunciation corrected. Suddenly, an unsullied enters and holds a knife to Masande's throat, advising the women not to scream. He removes his helmet, revealing himself as Dario. He explains he is here to kill Daenerys on orders from his captains, but they ran into a philosophical disagreement over her beauty. He then releases Masande and produces his captain's severed heads. Masande is later on hand as Daenerys waits for word of the infiltration of Yunkai and when Yunkai's gates open. She at first recites a prepared speech on how Daenerys has freed the slaves, but the Khaleesi interrupts with a speech of her own. When the freed slaves begin calling Daenerys, Wysa, Masande explains the words Giscari origins and its meaning, mother.